page 34. Chapter 4, Music Theory Lesson, about keys and their primary chords. Moving over to page 35, there's a title near the top, says, Arriving at the Primary Chords of a Key, Some Steps to Follow. I'm going to read step one to you, a couple paragraphs down. Step one, know your musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Tough one, huh? (laughs) And be able to recite up to five consecutive letters going forward from any particular lettered starting point. Let's say I'm starting at F. Then I would count F, G, A, B, C. Sort of like that. I just counted on my five fingers. In Chapter 2, the musical alphabet was used to figure out the notes of two different chromatic scales, one in sharps and one in flats. So you should be quite familiar with that musical alphabet by now. Step 2. Starting at a particular letter, figure out your root chord known as the 1, and then calculate the 4 chord. Did your math teachers in elementary school often say, don't count on your fingers? Well, forget them. I say count on your fingers and be proud of it. Start with the most straightforward example, the primary chords in the key of A. Start with A as 1 and count to 4 up from there. So I'm holding my pointer finger up and I'm looking at the 1 on this table and I know that's A because I'm in the key of A. The 2 is B, the 3 is C, and the 4 is D. Aha, there's the 4 chord. So I know that two of the primary chords for the key of A are A, 1, and D, 4. Now, letter number 1, A, is the name of the root, main chord for the key of A. Because of its numerical position, it is also known as the 1 chord in the key of A. The fourth letter that you counted up to on your fingers is D. This is the next primary chord in the key of A. Being in the fourth numerical position, it is known as the four chord in the key of A. Now go back to the beginning of the alphabet, counting up on all five fingers, starting at A again. One is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, Five is E, fifth letter of that alphabet. So from this table at the bottom of page 35, we've determined the one chord is A. You might well ask, where's A? Well, we could think of it as a bar chord. So we know that the open strings on your banjo are a G chord. I'm dealing right now with the third, second, and first strings only. There's your G chord. I'm looking for A. If I bar the first fret, is that A? No, that would be G sharp. So we don't need that. Let's go up another fret from G sharp. And where do we get? G sharp is always followed by the first letter of the alphabet. A. So A is at the second fret. I, again, am just barring three strings for now. You can always bar four if, if you need that fourth string for something. So we have A as the one chord, bar second fret. D we know from the D we've played through three volumes of this book now. E, that's two possibilities. You can uh, take the D chord, shift it up to frets. If we shift it up only one fret, we get D sharp. We shift it up to the next fret, which is fourth fret we get a form of E with the D shape. So we could say the one chord in the key of A, again, is A bar. Then regular D. Shift it up two frets, we get E. There is also a, an E chord closer by, which is, sounds like so. I strummed it from the fourth string on over. The way 
the E chord can be found quickly is go to your C chord that you know, the three finger C chord, and take your index finger, take it off of the second string, bring it over to the third string, first fret. And that is a standard E major chord. I don't strum the fifth string because it doesn't really work well in a strum. It's kind of nasty. So we stick with four through one on that. So if I were to use that in my chord combination of the key of A, we have A bar, we have D, and now the new form of E. And again, that's fourth string, second fret, middle finger, third string, first fret, index finger, open B, followed by ring finger at first string, second fret. A nice sounding chord it is. Now we'll do uh, some more finger counting. Let's go to page 36. And to the table, about halfway down the page. It's under a title that says, From Common Knowledge to Full Understanding. Sounds great, doesn't it? So we're going for the key of G in this table on uh, halfway down the page. And we've set up the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers at the top of the table. And underneath, we're looking for the key of G. As soon as you say key of G, you know that one is G. Then you count on your fingers from there. If one is G, G is always followed by A is two, B is three, don't want either of those two, four is C. So there we go. We've got G and C now in the key of G. And then five is letter after C, which is D. So our three primary chords in the key of G R, G, C, and D, or D7. Then we have another table at the bottom of the page. We're looking for the key of D primary chords. One is D. I already have my pointer finger up to begin my counting. Two is the next letter E. Don't want that. Three is the next letter F. Don't want that. 4 is G, yes, that's our 4 chord in the key of D. 5 is the letter after G, which is always back to A, or it could be A7. So here are your primary chords in the key of D. Our regular D we'll start with. Skip 2 and 3, go to G. You certainly know G, and you know A from finding out before where it is. And A7 not much of a stretch, really, because your fifth string is the seventh of the A chord. Moving along again to page 37, this table gives you the notes for the key of E primary chords. The key of E is the one chord being E. That's the E chord we just learned a moment ago. Then uh, our two is F, don't want that. Three is G, don't want that. Four chord is A. We already know A is a bar at the second fret. And the five chord is B, which is the bar at the fourth fret. A and B are just bar chords separated by a single fret, which happens to be A sharp. We don't want that. So our one chord in the key of E is, of course, E. Our four chord in the key of E is A. And then our five chord is B. If you want B7, we used it in Columbus Stockade Blues. And that is third string, second fret middle finger, second string open, first finger at first string, first fret. Alrighty, moving on to the next table on page 37, 
we're dealing with minor keys. So A minor, the one minor is, of course, A minor. Two is B, we don't want that. Three is C, we don't want that. The four minor in A minor, because the four chord is always a minor chord, is D minor. D minor, just for your review, is index finger on third string, second fret, middle finger on second string, third fret, and ring finger on first string, third fret. So there's our four minor. Now we have an E major for the five chord of A minor. There's the E chord that looks like a D-shaped chord at the fourth, fifth, and sixth frets. E7 we'll get into another time. <laughs> okay, so to review, our three primary chords in A minor are A minor, then the four minor, which is D minor, and then the E chord is the five. And return to A minor. The next one in this table is E minor. So the one minor for E minor is E minor. The next letter after E is F, don't want that, that's two. Three is G, don't want that. Four minor, or the four, is A. And we do want that as a minor because the four chord in a minor key is always a minor. Then the five chord is a B. Just like Columbus Stockade Blues contained those three primary chords. This is how they were arrived at. So once again, E minor is your one chord for the key of E minor. And then the four chord for E minor is A minor. And the five chord is B or B7. On page 38, you'll find a review table of all the keys covered in chapter 4. Let's run them again. I'm mainly looking at the table of the 1 chord, the 4 chord, and the 5 chord. But it also shows you how you arrive at that 4 and 5 chord with the 2 and 3's mentioned. Okay, so the 1 chord in the key of A is A. The 4 chord is D. And the 5 chord is E. And I'll go back to the 1 just to reestablish that's the key of A. Now we're doing the 1 chord in the key of G. The 4 chord is C. The 5 chord is D. And back to G. Key of D. The 1 chord is D. The 4 chord is G. And the 5 chord is A. Returning to D. Key of E. The one chord is E. There's our new E chord form. And that's followed by the four chord A and the five chord B. Returning to E. Next we have the key of C. C is the one chord. The four chord is F. I assume by now you know what an F chord looks like. And then the five chord is G, returning to C. Now we have A minor. A minor is the one chord. Four chord is D minor. And the five chord is E, returning to A minor. Key of E minor. The one chord is E minor. The four chord is A minor. And the five chord is B. And I'll return to E minor. 